In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what is and how to create a lookup field in Salesforce. I explain what it is, how to set one up and how to move it around on the page inside of your Salesforce system. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below, we would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what is and how to create a lookup field inside of Salesforce. So very briefly, a lookup field allows us to connect two different areas of our Salesforce system. So if we go over to opportunities, as an example for this video, you can see we have got the account name CRM crew, Anytime you create a new opportunity, you have to associate it with a, an account and a contact. That is what is known as a lookup field. It allows us to look up different pieces of information within our Salesforce system. As you know, CRM systems are relationship-based systems. So that using the lookup field is how we establish those relationships. So in this particular instance, I wanna create a lookup field for cases and I would like to connect cases to opportunities, okay? So all we need to do is go to the cog in the top right-hand corner and go to setup. And then on the setup page, what we want to do is go to the platform tools, go to objects and fields, and then go to object manager. From object manager, all we need to do is just use the quick find and search cases, or I'm just going to search case, or search for the object that you are adding a lookup field to, and then go ahead and click onto that particular object. Then just head over to fields and relationships on the left hand side, and we want to go ahead and create a new lookup field. So if you go to the new button on the right hand side here, the likelihood is you're going to be presented with this screen here. Um, the back end of Salesforce has not caught up the front end, so we're still using Salesforce Classic for the system development. So go ahead and press click here to open this page in Salesforce Classic, and you're going to be presented with this screen here. Now, the field that we are after is the lookup relationship field. This, as it clearly states, creates a relationship that links this object to another object. Exactly what I've already said. Okay, so go ahead and select the lookup relationship and then just go to the next button down the bottom right hand corner. And all you need to do is actually select which object we are connecting to. So remember, we're already on cases. So we need to go ahead and search all of the objects. You can just search opportunity in this instance as I'm connecting the case to an opportunity. So when you create a new case, it relates back to the account, the contact and the opportunity as well. So once you've selected the opportunity that it's uh, being connected to, go ahead and press the next button and then you just need to give this a name. So I'm going to call this opportunity and you can add a description if you'd like to. You can add help text as well. And then you've got the child relationship name, which is going to appear on the opportunity page. So you'll be able to see all of the cases connected with opportunities from the opportunities area and vice versa. We can then select if this needs to be a required field or not. So you have to associate a case with an opportunity in order to save and create a new case. You can select whether this is applicable or not. And then what to do if lookup record is deleted and then you can select clear the value of this field. You can't choose this option if you make this field required. So if you do, then it, data always has to be entered. But essentially, what will happen is if you've got a lookup connection, you will, you will not be able to delete that particular record in, until you've unconnected all of the relationships. So go ahead and select that. Um, and then you see, don't allow deletion of the lookup record that's part of lookup relationship. So if you do select always required, that is going to be the option, which we're not going to do. And then we can go ahead and auto add the custom report type, add this field to existing custom report types that contain this entity. I'll just leave that as is. And then we've got some filter settings as well. Now, this is really, really interesting. So if you go ahead and select show filter settings, this is where we can insert and add filter criteria when doing a lookup. Now, a great example of this, or if actually you just press insert suggested criteria, this will show you some pretty cool suggested criteria. So if account ID matches cases, owner ID matches case. So what we're actually telling the system is only look up opportunities that match a certain value so they can be associated. So one example might be if stage of the opportunity is equal to closed one, 
then then only show the opportunities when doing a lookup the closed one opportunities which might be quite an interesting one or another example might be to only show opportunities that the the user owns so the user can only see their own opportunities if that makes sense they can't see anyone else's within the system you can also add filter logic so you can do multiple ands and ors and two ands and an or etc etc so if this and this or this then show this piece of information or show this set of data so we can also add a message as well so when the filter criteria does not match we can just add a message and as you can see here this is a default message saying value does not exist or does not match filter criteria and that will be the message that is presented to the user when they are trying to add an opportunity or associate an opportunity with a case that doesn't match the criteria we have set out above here we've also got lookup window add this informational message to the lookup window if you'd like to I am not going to be using any filter stuff, but this is very, very useful, especially for protecting opportunities and things like that. So your user can only see their opportunities, good for territory management and stuff like that as well. So I'm going to untick that and then just going to go ahead and press the next button. So now we can just set up the security information for this particular field. So as you can see, all users have visibility and they have access to edit this information. What we can do is go to a standard user profile and we can say that they are only able to read this information so they can read it, but they are unable to edit the information or we can just remove visibility so they can't see this field at all. But in this instance, I'm just going to leave it visible to everyone. And then go ahead and press the next button again. And then we are presented with this screen here, which is the page layouts. This is where we can add this particular field to certain layouts and not to other layouts. So if you untick case feed layout, that means that this field will not be visible on the case feed layout, but will be visible on the case layout and the closed case layout. So I'm just going to leave it ticked for all of them for this example video. Once you're happy, press the next button again. And as you can see, this is where we have to select the opportunity related list so we want to have that visible relationship between cases and opportunities so i suggest you just leave this ticked if you don't want to have that then you can just go ahead and untick this so as you're happy just press the save button and congratulations you have now created a lookup field to opportunities on the cases page so if we head back to cases just click into a random case and then we'll probably want to press the refresh button we should then be able to see the opportunities uh, lookup field. So if we go to the case details, as you can see here, we can now see we've got the opportunity lookup and we can go ahead and look up to an opportunity for this particular case. Now, one additional thing I want to show you is how to move it around on the page. So we've created this particular opportunity field and we may not want it here. We may want this particular field in the additional information, for example. So super, super simple. If you want to do that, just go back to the case fields area. What we want to do, go to customize. We want to go to cases and then just go to page layouts. And as you can see here, I just want to go ahead and edit the page layout. So in this instance, the case feed layout, go ahead and press the edit button. And as you can see here, we've got all of the different information. And as you can see, we've also got the opportunity field that we just created. All we need to do is drag and drop it and reposition it to a different area of the page. Go ahead and press the save button and then head back to our cases page. And you should now see that the opportunity field has been moved when we head over to details to the additional information area. Hopefully this video was of value and I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now familiar with what a lookup field is, how to set one up and how to move it around on the page. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.